Michael S. Scott, Doc as I call him, had asked me to do a devotion for Vision 2020. So I picked a verse from Paul's letter to the church at Galatia, and it's Galatians 2.20. I've been crucified with Christ, and I no longer live, but I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. I marvel at this verse as Paul writes to the church at Galatia and to every generation. Paul speaks as I, an individual, and his choice to agree totally to surrender every part of his life, uh, his plans, his goals, his ideas, his speech, his relationships, total surrender to the Lord Jesus Christ. He gave up his rights and he turned them over to Jesus. It's no longer I, but him. When Christ comes to live in us by his spirit, we experience a second birth, not a physical birth, but a spiritual birth. We can never lose sight of the price that was paid at Calvary for our new life. For one who is not a new creature in Christ, they are bound by sin. They are a slave to sin. While we were yet sinners, and while we're still sinners, our sins are forgiven. We wear a robe of ramient white, the imputed righteousness of Christ. When the Father sees us, he sees the righteousness of the Lord Jesus. Our former pastor's father, John Wilton, often would describe the constant battle between the flesh and the spirit. It never ends, but because of our faith in our risen Lord, we are no longer slaves to sin. We have Holy Spirit resurrection power that enables us to walk in the light of the Lord Jesus Christ to walk by his truth and by his word and not in the darkness of the fallen world in which we live. We have this privilege to live each day in full fellowship with our risen Savior. Paul writes to the church at Rome in chapter 12 and verses 1 and 2, Therefore I urge you in view of God's mercy to offer yourselves as living sacrifices, holy and pleasing to God. This is your spiritual act of worship. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind in Christ Jesus, that you may do what is good and perfect in the will of God. This dying to self has to be a daily walk of faith. We have to pick up our cross daily and follow him.